Hello everybody, it's the Android iOS Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak on iOS 6 for iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 3GS, 4 or 4S. Now this is not available for the iPhone 5 yet, so you're going to have to wait. And let's get started. So for this jailbreak we're going to need two things. Uh, Red Snow 0.9.13, that will be in the description and your firmwares, which will also be in the description. First thing we're going to do is go to Extras, select IPSW, and select our IPSW, which is mine is on my desktop, I'm using my iPod 4th generation, and it says it was identified and it would be used for the rest of the session. Now next you're supposed to click the jailbreak button, it will jailbreak it, and bring you to the screen. Now on this screen it will give you options already checked, I'm just going to go with it and click next. Now it's going to ask you to put your device in DFU mode, so I will do so. Alright, I'm going to click next and you're going to have to keep your hand on that power button if this is your first time and you don't know what to do. So here we go. Hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, hold power for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Like our the pat button, and just keep holding the home button. Now it is uh, recognizing my iPod. It's exploding with Ryan Wayne. It is downloading the jailbreak data now, and you'll get the screen when it's done. Okay. Now when it's done with that screen, you're going to see this screen. It's going to install the bundles, and I will be right back when this is done. Okay, it is rebooting. Okay, once it is rebooted, you want to slide to unlock, and you will not see City on your home screen. We're going to do um, another step, which is um, just booting it, but that will actually not get um, City onto your home screen. We need to do another step to install it. So just click extras or do just boot. Now it's going to tell us to put our iPod in DFU mode. So we're going to power it off, click next, and hold the power button for 3, 2, 1, hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let go of the power button. And once you see this pineapple logo, that means you are done and you're going to wait for it to reboot. Okay, once it is rebooted, you slide to unlock, and you will still see no Cydia um, on your home screen. But, I will show you the step that you need to do in order to install Cydia. Okay, so what you're going to do, um, I cannot, there are two different ways to do this, but I cannot show you on a PC because I do not have a PC. So I will just show you on my Mac. So, on your iPod, you need to go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and you need your IP address. So you need to make sure that your computer and your iDevice are both on the same Wi-Fi network. And you need your IP address, which so that won't focus. Okay, there we go. Uh, that is my IP address, and I'm going to use that. So, what you're going to need to do is open a terminal, and you're going to put in ssh space root at one at your IP address. So mine is 192.618.10105. Hit enter. And it will ask you for a password and you are going to type in Alpine. Or yes or no, whatever. Oh, okay, you have to type in yes or no first, sorry. And then you type in the password Alpine. You are going to want to uh, put in this code that I have. I will copy and paste this code and I put it in the description so you can have it. And press enter. And it will automatically um, install Cydia onto your iPod Touch. Okay, my iPod just reboot. Slide to unlock it and you now have Cydia on your springboard and fully jailbroken on iOS 6. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like or favorite, whatever you want to do. And I will see you guys next time.